Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the 9 p.m. English News Edition. Here are the top stories. With consultation with the population, with the government. Organization of calls for global solidarity. Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to, the, to our newsroom for having the news in uh, details. A strong uh, joint delegation led by the President of the National Assembly, Mohammed Ali Ahmed, and composed of members of the government, including the Minister of Budget, Abdul Karim Adel Asher, and the Minister of Trade, Hassan Ahmed, of, uh, and the uh, parliamentarians, including a strong participation of women, uh, parliamentarians, and senior officials of the Central Administration visited yesterday in Madgul, in the sub-prefecture of Dora, in the region of Tajura. Accompanied by the local authorities, including the Prefect Hassan Dabali and the President of the Council, Omar Hussein, the joint delegation had a meeting of proximity and consultation under an acacia tree in the basin of Madgul below the mountain of Musa Ali with the representatives of the population and uh, to the uh, sub-prefecture of Dora. The meeting started in the morning uh, under the Akashi tree in the Madgul meeting, which is a continuation of the president's tour of the interior regions. The population has had the opportunity uh, to voice their grievances in the sector where social problems are much accentuated uh, due to the distance from regional decision-making centers and the problem of thirst, poverty, like lack of uh, basic development infrastructures, isolation, lack of administration facilities. Unanimously, the representatives of the population, including General uh, Mohammed Harun Akal, uh, raised a problem common to all the localities of sub prefecture the problem of lack of water and thirst. However, the representatives said that boreholes have been uh, drilled in uh, Garabtisan, Balho, Malaho, uh, Buya, and others. But they were surprised that no, no uh, boreholes except the Dora borehole are operational. Despite a high concentration of the population, the area has no health facilities. There are no too many children in the area, but no school facilities. The representatives of the population complain about the non-insurance of identity documents which are still pending and the uselessness of making new judgments of if nothing is done to provide the documents. A representative from Madgul loudly criticized the precarious situation of women in the area who have no health facilities or maternity wards and who uh, suffer from unemployment more than uh, uh, to the uh, men. They assisted on the uh, difficulties of road access which hamper all activities in the Magdul and Andaba sector with regard to the uh, third road that passes through Dora to Balho at the border. Nevertheless, they thank the delegation led by the President of the Assembly and the officials accompanying him for having uh, come so far uh, to see the situation of the population. They will greatly appreciate the, uh, that high officials spent a day with the same sharing their daily lives. The officials uh, took a good note of the grievances raised and promised to find a quick solution. They promised, uh, they, they promised that they will be their advocates with the concerned institution to relieve the population of the area which is facing major uh, problems. In their intervention, representatives of civil society in Madgul district led by uh, Mohammed Harun discussed the problems facing their region including a shortage of clean uh, drinking water and the lack of uh, dog wells in, the, in this area where wells have uh, been drilled in several areas but people only use the Dora well. During the meeting, speakers also discussed the lack of health structures and centers for mothers and children. They also indicated that they uh, suffered from lack of employment opportunities in their area and lack of obtaining the national card, as there is no special office for these cases in this regard. They also indicated that they had difficulties in moving between neighboring regions and districts because of the lack of paved uh, roads with the exception of the road between Dura and Balho. The officials heard these, uh, these complaints and undertook the forward, uh, forward them to the relevant authorities concerned with these matters. His Excellency Mr. Hassan, uh, Minister of Trade, uh, at the beginning of his uh, speech, thanked and appreciated the dignitaries, uh, young people and women of the region for the warm welcome and generous hospitalities. He stated uh, that we are making every effort to meet the needs of the population 
in accordance with the directive issued by the President of the Republic after his regional tour. He stressed that during the meeting, the needs of the inhabitants of these important areas were monitored in order to meet them in the near future particularly those raised during the last tour that the President of the Republic undertook in the interior regions. Finally, the Minister of Commerce referred to the problem of unemployment, which has affected young people in the village of Ahmedgul, and stated that the government will do its utmost to enable young people to enter to the labor market. Now, in response to the uh, complaint from the population, the Budget Minister, Mr. Abdul Karim al Sher, said that the government would make every effort to address the overall problems and difficulties facing the citizens of Madgul village in Tajura region in the north of the country. He stressed that the President of the Republic had given instruction to the members of the government to address the needs of the population, particularly after his recent tour of the interior in his meeting with the population. In connection with the construction of a handcraft center for women in the district, Mr. Abdelkrim Adam Sher noted that the Ministry of Women and Family will undertake the implementation of this project to enable the women of the village to develop handcraft projects. He added that with, uh, with regard to the provision of an ambulance and expansion of the health centers, the Ministry of Health will provide the ambulance in the near future. Now, in an address to His Excellency, the President of the National Assembly, Mohammed Ali Hamad, on that occasion referred to the importance of the meeting which the parliamentary and governmental uh, delegation had declared. We are here as part of the government program, and we have heard what the dignitaries, youth, and women have presented in this regard, and we are committed to finding uh, to find pardon appropriate solution to these complaints and demand as soon as possible. This visit is part of the ongoing consultation between the government and the citizens living in the area. Now, the Republic of Djibouti participated through the Minister of Energy in charge of national, natural resources in the conference Solar Energy for Health, organized by UN AIDS in collaboration with the International Solar Alliance. The aim is to identify the challenges and opportunities for solar energy in the health sector worldwide. This conference, held in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, was attended by high-level personalities such as the Director General of ISI, the Special Advisor to the UN Secretary General for Climate Action, Deputy Executive Director of the UNAIDS Ministry of Ministers, and members of countries and representative of international partners. During his speech, the Minister of Energy, recalling the close link between health and development, stressed that the improvement of the health sector must take into consideration rural areas where access to energy is a major challenge. He stated that solar energy is the most optimal solution to ensure access to electricity for these health centers as it is present everywhere. Quick to install and efficient due to its stability and sustainability, the minister said that serious planning is needed to install photovoltaic installation at all health centers in, in developing countries, including Djibouti, and to avoid failures in the remote areas. Now, the delegation composed of the two Secretary General of the Ministry of Social Affairs and Solidarity and the State Secretary in charge of the Central region finalized their tour of the northern region in the two. Uh, in the town of Obok, they paid a courtesy visit to the prefecture of Obok region to launch, discuss, and present activities carried out by the two ministerial departments in the uh, region. They were able to meet with the first deputy prefect and vice president of the regional council of the city of Obok. Indeed, the general secretary uh, were able to exchange and debate with the different members of the regional committee in lively uh, debate representative of the region directorate of education and health as well as the national union of jewish women and jewish social development agency were present finally the discussion focused on the next activities of the project namely the empowerment of households were discussed as well as optimizing government action in favor of the development of the interior region In a speech by the Secretary of the uh, Ministry of Social Affairs and Solidarity, Mrs. Ifrah Ali Ahmed, stressed the importance of this National Family Solidarity Program launched by the President of the Republic in 2000. She noted that the project aims to advance economic development and social life and ensure food security in addition to developing the rural community, strengthening the health and education system, and promoting Jewish women. 
now aspired for the implementation of the project to support economic and social activities in the Nigeria region. A delegation from the Javuri Social Development Agency, headed by the Director of Community Development (ADDS), Mr. Adiri Farah Sultan, visited Ali Sabeh to sign financing agreements for nine associations. For his part, the uh, Vice President of the Regional Council, Mr. Noor Zaid Gildon, commended the effort made by the Jewish Social Development Agency to support people living in the interior. Now the remains of the deceased, Jabril Mohammed Ayalabi, were buried today in Dikhil. Thus, he has returned to his final resting place with his family in the city of Unity, Dikhil, in the respect of privacy. Now, we, uh, another news, we uh, regret to announce the death of the late uh, Galali Abdullah Ali, born in 1956 in Obok, yesterday after a long illness, the disease left behind her four sons, including two daughters and two boys, and her grandsons, who are nine in number. In these painful circumstances, we uh, share the pain of the family to whom we offer our sincere condolences and pray to the God, uh, to good uh, Allah, to welcome uh, to welcome her in her in His uh, eternal paradise. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Moving on to the international news now, the WHO is calling for global uh, solidarity after learning uh, that the United States has purchased the entire global stockpile of Redmisvir, a drug that has been uh, shown the, to be effective in uh, threatening uh, coronaviruses. The situation does not bode well for developing countries which, according to the organization, will not have the financial means to purchase drugs to treat patients with COVID-19. Certainly, we have a dis disordered uh, global market that shows that the need for certain principles of equity and global solidarity if we are to uh, solve this collective problem. Because as long as the virus uh, circulates in one continent or, or two, other others are also at risk, says Dr. Machidizo Moeti, director of Africa of the World Health Organization. More than 10,000 cases have been recorded worldwide since the emergency of the coronavirus in China late last uh, year. The number of patients who have died now exceeds 500,000. Half of the world's cases have been registered in the United States and Europe. The COVID-19 is growing rapidly in America. The virus is also affecting South Asia and Africa, where it is not expected to peak before the end of July.